السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ناظرین میرا نام تراب نقوی ہے اور میں آج آپ کی خدمت میں حاضر ہوا ہوں دی ٹینتھ ڈے ڈاٹ کام کیمپین کے سلسلے میں میرے ساتھ اس پروگرام میں شامل ہیں بردر نبیل اوان اور ہمارے کیمپین کے کوآڈینیٹر جناب فیض ہمدانی صاحب ٹینتھ ڈے ڈاٹ کام کیمپین آپ واقف ہوں گے اسے ہم پچھلے تین سال سے اسے رن کر رہے ہیں Uh, what is uh, the tenthday.com it's basically um, a campaign to spread the awareness of imam hussein to the humanity um, ye kisi ek firqe ya kisi ek mazhab ke upar iska irtikaz nahi hai balki ye insaniyat ke liye hai jaise ki josh maliya abadi ne farmaya tha ke insaan ko zara bedar to ho lene do har qoum pukaregi hamare hain hussein سو so, uh, اسی uh, شعر کو uh, متما نگاہ بناتے ہوئے ہم امام حسین علیہ السلام کے بارے میں اویئرنیس کو uh, چار سو پھیلانا چاہتے ہیں اور ہم نے اس کو تین سال پہلے شروع کیا خاص طور پہ برادر فیض ہمدانی یہاں جو موجود ہیں وہ اس کیمپین uh, کو انٹروڈیوس کرنے کے لیے uh, uh, بتانا چاہیں گے جی برادر فیض uh, پہلے سب سے پہلے تو یہ بتائیے کہ uh, جو How, how would you introduce the campaign? Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, the campaign, the purpose of the campaign is like you have just said, is to spread the message of Imam Hussain. Okay. And there are so many uh, misunderstandings among the general public, particularly in the West, about Islam. They have heard wrong things about the Prophet of Islam. And the uh, Muslims from other faiths, they have different ideas about Imam Ali alayhi salam. So we thought, like the Holy Prophet has said, that Imam Hussain is the light of guidance. Sure. And we use that hadith of the Holy Prophet to show this light yeah. to the general public, to the people in the West. So that they can see that جب امام حسین کی ویلیوز جو انہوں نے کربلا میں دکھائیں جو انہوں نے پیش کی ویلیوز ان ویلیوز کو پیش کر کے ان کا میسج جو ہے وہ تمام دنیا تک پھیلا سکیں ٹھیک تو اس ایم اس کیمپین کے ایمز اینڈ آبجیکٹوز جو ہیں سو فار وٹ ہیو یو ڈن اینڈ وٹ یو تھنکنگ آف ریچنگ ٹو Okay, basically, uh, aim is to, like I said, is to spread the message of Imam Hussain. Sure. How we are going to, or how we intend to achieve those goals, uh, we have, we thought about it. So basically, um, if we see, there are so many different websites about yeah. Imam Hussain, about Ahlul Bayt, alayhi salam, which the uh, non-Muslim Uh, population they don't know about it mm-hmm. because the websites are there maybe they are not presenting the message in the right way maybe they are mm-hmm. but the people don't know about it mm-hmm. then there are thousands of books in various different libraries mm-hmm. and unfortunately the trend of reading books is not there anymore people uh, if the people want to read the books then they mm-hmm. are the new technology is coming mm-hmm. and basically mm-hmm. they want to read it mm-hmm. on Uh, their whatever the new mm. technology is uh, so we thought that we looked at the new, te- new uh, techniques of advertisement mm. and we see that the iPhone for example it's one of the best selling product out there Tiga. but they are still and they don't need to advertise it but still you mm. see there are billboards there are bus stops on buses They are advertising their products, their iPads, their iPods, and whatever new product they are bringing. Same. Uh, so what happens is, so for example, if I just give you very quickly a small example of uh, mm. some new trainers. Mm-hmm. The kid wakes up in the morning, goes to the school. Uh, they are going to the school uh, to, get, to get a bus. Mm. On the bus stop, they see the advert of the Nike. or one, whatever the trainer says when mm. the bus arrives on the bus there is the same advert when they mm. sit inside the bus they same advert mm-hmm. they go to school there's mm. big billboard the same advert when they come home they open the telly it's the same advert 
Okay. At the end of the day, the child says to the dad, Dad, I want these trainers. Right. So when we said that let's use the same method, mm -hmm. we tell mm -hmm. people they don't have, we do something that they don't miss it. And we have to do it in a way that it's, uh, we have to make them curious about the message. And then basically, uh, so that's one of the objectives. So, and uh, 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 ye jo aap, uh, strategy, uh, marketing strategy use kar rahe hain. Is silsile mein ab tak aapne kaun kaun se avenues use ki hain aur aayinda ki ya is saal kin avenues ka istamal kar rahe hain. Acha abhi tak humne uh, jo use ki hain first year hum chuke it was first year to hum aur humare paas uh, budget ki koi idea nahi tha ki how much hum raise kar sakte hain. So we have started a bus stop and then we have an idea that why don't we use the lamp post flags. So we have to go to the council. It was a long battle. It was a long battle. We don't know how many people know how many people know. So Imam Hussain's work has been done. We have also used the lamp post flags. Then we have used the big telephones. वो हमें एक डील मिली वो हमने यूज की उसके बाद लास्ट ये जो पहले साल की कैंपेन थी उसमें आपका टोटल बजट क्या था बजट वो तकरीबन हमने 1200 पाउंड से शुरू किया था और एंड हमने तकरीबन 6000 पे हो गया दिस वाज 2012 2012 ओके कम टू 2013 यस इन 2013 वी डिसाइडेड so we used uh, 86 different buses mm -hmm. in Greater Manchester, mm -hmm. which were buses. Ke sides pe jo banners hote hain, unko use kiya gaya tha. Usko mm -hmm. super sides hote hain, jo mm -hmm. ke passenger entrance uh, side hoti hai. To jo bhi utarne chadne wala hai ya jo, jo footpath pe wo dekh sakta hai. Wo dekh sakta hai. Aur wo taki bhai 86 buses thi, un pe taki bhai hamara 13,000 pound okay. kharcha aaya tha. Thik hai. Aur uh, iske alawa hamne 50 uh, first year hamara pas 22 flags the. Achha. Last year hamne increase karke usko 50 kar diya tha. Mashallah. To 50 flags pe taki bhai 5,000 kharcha aaya tha. Total budget kya tha? Total budget taki bhai 18,000 pound tha. Mashallah. Aur is saal aapka kya plan? Is saal alhamdulillah budget to wahi three times hona chahiye tha zyada. But we want to be careful. So we have about this time, Alhamdulillah, we have 217 buses which are in Greater Manchester and North of England, which is Imam Hussain's message. Along with this, we have about 20 plus बस स्टॉप्स हैं, हमारे पास ब्लैकबर्न में बस स्टॉप्स हैं, हमारे पास लीड्स और ब्रैडफोर्ड में बसेस हैं, न्यूकासल और मिडलस्ब्रा एरिया जो है वहाँ पे बसेस हैं, इसके अलावा ग्रेटर मैनचेस्टर जिसमें आप बोल्टन, रॉसडेल, ओल्डम, बेरी और मैनचेस्टर का इटसाल्फ प्रेस्टन एरिया ये सब एरिया � और हमने इस दफा ना सिर्फ ये के चूंकि हम अपने जो जो हमें सपोर्ट करते हैं हमारी कम्युनिटी उनकी जो तजावीज हैं उनको भी ऑन बोर्ड लेते हैं ठीक है तो कुछ लोगों ने मशवरा दिया कि हम सिर्फ सुपर साइड्स की बजाय बैक रियर पे जो एडवर्ट्स होते हैं वो बसेस की बैक के ऊपर जो बोर्ड्स लगे हुए होते हैं ठीक है क्योंकि उससे ये होता है कि जो ड्राइव कर रहे हैं उनके पास टाइम ज़्यादा होता है पढ़ने का। That's right, that's right। तो वो हम मैसेज जो है वो वहाँ पे एक तो ये कि चूंकि लोग फॉलो कर रहे हैं बस को they will have to read। Someone said that the kids have memorized the whole messages on different buses, so that's one thing. माशाल्लाह ब्रदर फ़ास अब ये जो कैंपेन है आपने जो अभी बजट बताया है टोटल ऑफ तकरीबन 23,000 हमारा है लेकिन इसके अलावा जो दूसरी दूसरे शहरों से हैं वो तकरीबन 7,000 वहाँ तो राउंड अबाउट 30,000 का बजट है अब तो नाज़रीन 30,000 पाउंड्स इस कैंपेन को रन करने के लिए चाहिए एक बस को स्पONSर करने का जो अखराजात हैं वो हैं 110 पाउंड that's right, brother. Yes. 
और जो एक लैम्प पोस्ट फ्लैग है उसके ऊपर अखराजात हैं हंड्रेड पाउंड तो साथ जो बस स्टॉप्स हैं जो बस स्टॉप्स हैं उनका तकरीबन टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी पाउंड एक बस स्टॉप के ऊपर एडवर्टीजमेंट का खर्च है तो खातिन हजरात से नाजरन से गुजारिश की जाती है कि अपने महरूमिन के इस आल षवाब के वास्ते इंडिविजुअली स्पॉन्सर करना चाहें तब भी या जो भी दाम दर में सुखने इमदाद करना चाहें इस कैंपेन में वो ज़रूर करें नंबर्स आपकी स्क्रीन के ऊपर मौजूद हैं आप हमें कॉल कर सकते हैं और हमारे रजाकारान मौजूद हैं मोहबान अलमहदी के जो इस कैंपेन को रन कर रहे हैं वो मौजूद हैं और अभी हम कुछ ही देर में जो दीगर मर्चेंडाइज है जो हम सेल कर रहे हैं जिसके तमाम तर आमदन और जो भी उससे फंड रेजिंग होगी वो सारी की सारी इस कैंपेन में सर्व होगी उसके ऊपर हम तफसील से रोशनी डालेंगे अभी स्क्रीन के ऊपर आपके पास नंबर्स मौजूद हैं और हमारे पास लाइव कॉल्स आ रही हैं तो लाइव कॉल लेते हैं फिर हम ब्रदर नपील से बात करेंगे लीजिए पहली कॉल की तरफ चलते हैं हेलो हेलो वालेकुम सलाम कौन और कहाँ से बोल रहे जी सलाम इमरान भाई के क्या कहना चाहते हैं आप जी इमरान भाई माशा नोट ऑफ दैट तो बहुत शुक्रिया इमरान भाई अभी आप मैं गुजारिश करूंगा इमरान भाई कि आप डोनेशन हॉटलाइन जो स्क्रीन के ऊपर आ रही है उसके ऊपर आप कॉल करके अपनी तफसी जो है उनको दर्ज करवा दें प्लीज कॉल ऑन दिस डोनेशन हॉट लाइन सो दैट दे कैन टेक द डिटेल्स ऑफ यू इज दैट ओके ब्रदर इमरान थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर कॉलिंग थैंक यू सो मच खुदा हाफिज लेट्स टेक द नेक्स्ट कॉल हेलो अलैकुम अस्सलाम क्या हाल है जी जी अच्छा पाँच सौ पाउंड डोनेट करना चाहती हूँ दो बस स्टॉप के लिए माशाल्लाह माशाल्लाह बहुत शुक्रिया बहन थैंक यू वेरी मच नॉर्वे से कॉल कर रहे हैं इनशाला आप अगले साल नॉर्वे तक भी एक्सपेंड करेंगे इस कैंपेन को बहुत शुक्रिया ऐसे सर वहाँ पर जो अगर आप अगर टीम बना सके तो हम इनशाला अपनी मर्चेंडाइज भी भेजेंगे और इनशाला नेक्स्ट ईयर वहाँ पर भी एडवर्टाइजिंग होगी इन बहुत शुक्रिया बहुत शुक्रिया सिस्टर इनशाला इनशाला एक और कॉल लेते हैं और हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम वालेकुम सलाम जी कौन कहाँ से बोल रहे हैं बहन से जी अच्छा फरमाइए अंकल वी लाइक टू स्पॉन्सर अ बुक स्टॉप इन बहनी ऑल राइट दैट्स ग्रेट कैन यू टेक योर नेम प्लीज ये इस मोहम्मद महदी Muhammad Mahdi thank you very much Muhammad Mahdi will you will you call on the donation hotline and so that they can take your details off yes yeah okay thank you so much Muhammad Mahdi god bless you okay thank you so much chalte hain um uh lijiye brother uh, nabil right we talking about imam hussain imam hussain stand for humanity yeah. uh, इस कौम को बेदार तो इंसान को बेदार तो हो लेने दो हर कौम पुकारेगी हमारे हैं हुसैन आई मीन हाउ यूनिवर्सल दिस स्टेटमेंट इज विल यू शेड सम लाइट ऑन दैट बिस्मिल्लाहिर्रहमानिर्रहीम अम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी अलोंग टू हेल्प यू लॉन्च दिस कैंपेन एंड वी प्रे दैट अल्लाह सुभान व तआला गिव्स यू ऑल द तौफीक टू कंटिन्यू टू इंक्रीस दिस कैंपेन ईयर ऑन ईयर अम एंड स्प्रेड इट थ्रू आउट द होल कंट्री Uh, regarding Imam Al Hussein Ali Salam it has been the unfortunate circumstance that for many years or decades in fact that the imam has been restricted to our own husainiyas the name of the imam the message of the imam has not gone out mm. whereas this family mm. is such a family that they are the ones that when their killer is brought in front of them they are offering the milk to Masha their killer subhanallah and he and amir al-mu'minin is addressing his killer and saying was i not a good imam to you this is that family that has so much uh, mercy within them 
Imam al Hussein on the plains of Karbala, 40 separate occasions, the Imam addresses the army of Yazid in various khutbat, long ones, short ones, to say to them, Why are you doing this? Don't do this. I'm giving you the opportunity. Even when Shimr uh, is upon the chest of Imam, Imam is still saying to him, Don't close the doors of mercy. Don't kill me. Give me, come away from this, and I will take you to Jannah. This is that household, and it's been so unfortunate that this Imam, this whole household has been restricted to our Husseiniyas. The Imam is Imam for everyone. Mission. The Imam, Mission, yeah. if we see post Karbala, when uh, Yazid writes to, uh, for example, Imam al Sajjad, mm -hmm. and he says, Give me a dua that I can read mm -hmm. so that uh, I may be forgiven. Mm -hmm. The Imam writes for him mm -hmm. something. He gives it and sends it back to him. The companions that are surrounding the Imam, they say that, Imam, why is this the case? You know, he's the one that killed. Imam says, I'm still his Imam. But know that he won't have the tawfiq to do it. Mm. At the event of Harra, mm. after uh, the event of Karbala, when Yazid comes to decimate Medina, Marwan brings his women folk to Imam al-Sajjad and says to the Imam that can you keep our women in your house? I'm afraid that the soldiers that are being sent are ruthless. Mm. The Imam says, yes, I'll take them in. He takes the whole household, all the women and children of Marwan so into right. his house and he keeps them there mm. for however long that event mm. lasts for. And they mm. themselves say that we had so much freedom in the house of Zainul Abidin Mm. that we didn't even have this much freedom in the house of our fathers. Mm. So you see that this household is the household of Rahma. Mm. They have so much to give mm. and we have done them a great injustice mm. that being their Shias, we have restricted them only to our own Husseiniyas. Mm. We don't open our Husseiniyas to others so that they may hear this story. That's right. That they may hear these teachings. Mm. Yes, we go as far as telling mm. people what happened in Karbala. Yes, Fulan person, you know, this is what happened and that's what happened and people get upset by it. But there's so much more to Imam al Hussein. Yes, uh, historians have spoken about Imam al Hussein. Mm. But what are the teachings of Imam himself? As mm. Imam al Radha himself says that your job as our followers is to take our sayings, our teachings to the wider public. Take them to the people, leave the rest upon us. The, so, uh, taking that point forward to Brother Faiz, um, the audience of this campaign, how would you classify the audience or how would you describe the audience? Okay, um, I think uh, uh, Sheikh Nabil just said uh, that Imam has said take our message to people and then leave the rest to us, to them. So basically that's what we are doing exactly. <coughs> <coughs> the main audience to have uh, non-muslim population here obviously within that then we have the uh, non-shia population even some shia youth they can uh, basically relate to the campaign and they can be part to it they can i mean at the same time i would use this opportunity do we have a call uh, not yet <laughs> okay so uh, first um so basically um i mean uh, while I'm on this point, I can say that the Shia youth are... Okay. Sorry, uh, we, we've got a call. Okay. It's, it's <coughs> it got dropped, sorry. Okay. Right. Um, so basically, I mean, um, I would like to say the Shia brothers and sisters who are listening or watching mm. this program, they can be part of it. They can help us with anything. You know, uh, they can be volunteer in the campaign. Uh, so coming back to the point, um, that's what we want to do. I mean, we want to right. carry the message of Imam Hussain uh, okay. to as many okay. people. I've, I've, I've got a, a call. Um, hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Yadi Madad. Yadi Madad, Allah Salaam. Yadi Madad, Allah Salaam. Yadi Madad, Allah Salaam. Yadi Madad, Allah Salaam. Adhaid channel pe main aapka program dekha tha us din itwar ko program aapne kiya Farooq ke program hai ji ji i think it's irrelevant it was irrelevant call nazreen se guzarish hai ki kyunki ab imam hussain awareness campaign the tenthday.com campaign ka ye fundraiser program hai aaj official launch hai is is program ka ye jo aap background mein flags dekh rahe hain ye lamp post pe हमने पिछले साल आवेज़ा किए थे और इस साल भी कुछ यही डिज़ाइंस और कुछ इनसे मुख्तलिफ़ डिज़ाइंस आवेज़ा किए जाएंगे 
تو ناظرین سے گزارش ہے کہ آپ کی اگر کال ہے تو اس پروگرام سے متعلق ہونا چاہیے جی برادر فیض کیا کہنا چاہ رہے تھے ہاں جی تو میں یہ کہتا ہوں کہ بیسکلی دا کیمپین ایز ٹو کیری دا میسیج آف امام حسین ٹو دا وائڈر آڈینس سو دیٹ دے کین یوٹیلائز ود ایٹ لائک برادر شیخ نبیل سیڈ دیٹ انفارچونیٹلی اٹ ہیز بین کنفائنڈ ٹو آور ماسکس اینڈ امام بارکاس دا پیپل ہیو دا رائٹ ٹو نو دیئر امام basically and Imam Zaman alayhi salam when he will uh, reappear inshallah soon mm -hmm. he would introduce himself with mm -hmm. the with the name of Imam Hussain uh, so uh, it is our responsibility every Shia's responsibility is to tell people about mm -hmm. امام حسین تو کچھ آپ روشنی ڈال سکیں گے کہ لاسٹ ایئر جو کیمپین تھی اور آپ کی ویب سائٹ لائیو گئی تو ہاؤ مینی ہٹس ڈیٹ یو گیٹ اور اس قسم کی کوئی فیکٹس اینڈ فگرز ہیں آپ کے پاس یا الحمد للہ آئی مین فرسٹ آف آل آئی وڈ سی دی آور برینڈ نیو ویب سائٹ از ناؤ ان انڈر کنسٹرکشن اٹس ویری مچ امپروڈ اٹس دی کانٹینٹس uh more productive and uh written by uh good scholars with Marshall. good english mm -hmm. and there are loads of different videos and other things for people mm -hmm. to utilize and benefit mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. uh, but last year our website we had around one and a half million uh hates uh unique hates Marshall. on the website one and a half million one and a half million that's and that's number, the Marshall. That's the uh, data within the month of Muharram. So Ek Muharram ke mein 1.5 million. Yes. Um, and then we had within 10 days of Muharram, our Facebook, uh, we had around 20,000 likes on our Facebook. Now, uh, the, these likes are from all over the world, from mm -hmm. all seven continents and the countries like, which are not even recognized by people, uh, by the Muslim world, like, Let me come to Brother Nabil, what would you tell us about the importance of the campaign reaching out, why this campaign reaching out to the wider audience? There's a number of facets that you can look at that question. First and foremost, the importance of it being keeping the message of Imam al-Hussein alive. Yes, sometimes we can get passionate and say this message will not die ever. Yes, that's true. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said that he will maintain this zikr himself I, through the Quran. And he has revealed those that will maintain the, the that will protect the dhikr of the Holy Quran, okay. which is the Ahlul Bayt. But on the other side, we also have a responsibility. Each and every one of us that has been given this blessing of being a follower of Ahlul Bayt, we have a responsibility to now go to other members of society and and give them this message. The previous Imams post Karbala, they put so much importance upon the event and the mourning and the remembrance of Imam al Hussein. And when they were asked why, they said that because we fear that the people will forget the event of Karbala like they forgot Ghadir. True. Now, we ourselves sometimes are restricting or making people forget the essence of Ghadid. When people now come up and they start to debate with us on this uh, name or, or this saying of Man kuntu mawla fahada aliyun mawla and say mawla means friend and then we have our standard logical arguments yeah but it was hot and there were a hundred thousand why would the Prophet stop everyone to say he's my friend whereas in reality if we look at the rest of the khutbah which we don't know the prophet spoke for an hour and 10 minutes according to some narrations uh, on the plains of ghadir and he at over a period of an hour and 10 minutes he introduced amir al-mu'minin he cursed those that would oppose amir al-mu'minin he gave an introduction to, as to why amir al-mu'minin was the one that was going to be the leader after him but what we've done, we've forgotten everything else and we've taken this one line of Man kuntu mawla fa'adha aliyun mawla. And sometimes we do this with Karbala. We restrict the whole of Karbala to mm. our mourning and our azar. Mm. It has its place and it is very important. You know, so no one can say that you know, I'm saying that 
uh, I'm anti Azadari or anything like that. <laughs> Nothing like that. I mean, I don't want to go up on a website saying <laughs> with a <laughs> special title. But um, Azadari is important. This is our backbone. This is where we came from, and it has to continue. This is what has kept us alive. But at the same time, I'm gonna we need to bring the message. I'm going to stop here because no I'm going to call here. Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum uh, salam. This is uh, Dr. Hadi from Markaz Alibad Bolton. Uh, welcome to the program, Dr. Hadi. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Ji, main zura bol raha hu. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Main sabse pehle salam arz karta hu Nabi Lawan sahib ko. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Faiz Hamdani sahib ko. Wa alaikum assalam, Dr. Sahib. Thank you. Aur aap logon ko main mubarakbaad pesh karta hu ke itne aham aap campaign kar rahe hain. शुक्रिया बड़ी नवाजिश और आ, मैं अपनी जानब से 500 पाउंड्स अभी डोनेट कर रहा हूं आपको माशाल्लाह ताकि आप उसे इस कैंपेन पे खर्च कर सकें थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू वेरी मच वेरी वेरी हाजी बहुत शुक्रिया बहुत शुक्रिया आप ये डोनेशन हॉटलाइंस पे कॉल करके अपनी डिटेल्स दे दीजिएगा बड़ी नवाजिश इंशाल्लाह मैं भी मैं भी करता हूं जी सलामत रहिए बड़ी नवाजिश अस्सलाम वालेकुम वालेकुम अस्सलाम सॉरी सॉरी टू कट यू यस सो आई वाज सेइंग दैट यू नो we we've got the azar part sorted and we have all of that and we understand its importance now we need to get the message of mm. karbala out Tika. for those that are already muslims mm. we need to teach them about the tawhid of karbala because mm. in reality it that's what it is mm. imam leaving mecca gives his khutbah the mm. last line of it man kana badilan muhajjata wa muwattinan ala liqa allah mm. fal yarhal ma'na inni rahilun musbihan insha allah that those of you that have made the intention to spend your blood in the way uh, in our way and have made the firm intention to meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala come with me because I am leaving in the morning this is during the time of Hajj Mashallah. whether you're Shia or Sunni mm. the Shias believe in the wilaya of the Imam both political and spiritual Tiga. the brothers of the Ahl Sunnah believe in the spirituality and the spiritual leadership of Ahl al-Bayt whether you're Shia or Sunni, this line applies to every single individual. That the Imam is saying that Hajj without mm. the Imam mm. is not Hajj. If you want mm. to go to meet with Allah, then you mm. come with me. Tiki. Because wherever the Wali of Allah goes, that is where the meeting with Allah is. Tiki. So we have that level. The other level to the wider community, mm. we have the compassion of Imam al Hussein. Tiga. We have his stance against justice, which we all know. All of these various things that the Imam did and said, um, and how he brought various communities in, and how in fact it was those that were the most unlikely companions of the Imam actually joined him. And those that were with him in Mecca, when he said, now this is it, mm -hmm. I'm going to go. There were hundreds that actually joined the Imam along the way, and they reached Mecca, and then the Imam said, I'm going, and this is what's going to happen. They all left. Leaving only those 72 or 130 or 200 as we have in various narrations. So the Imam is for all of humanity. That's the first thing. The mm. second point that we have to note is also we have to see the change in the tides of time. We recite in uh, Dua Iftita every year during Shah Ramadan, damani alayna, and we complain, O oh Allah, to you about the vicissitudes of time, the tides of time that are turning against us. Tegan. And when we look out in mm. the wider public mm. and we take our heads out of the sand and we look mm. at the political mm. atmosphere, we look at the social atmosphere and we look mm. at how Muslims are becoming mm. public enemy number one, how the teachings of uh, the Holy uh, Prophet are being taken out of context, how the mm. life of the Holy Prophet is being taken out of context. Mm. More than ever, we now need to show them the Rahmah of the Holy Prophet, the Rahmah of Ahl al-Bayt mm. and the logical side mm. and the, the message that Ahl al-Bayt gave to everyone. Because then in the future, if things go bad and they will go bad, because we believe as the followers of Ahl al-Bayt that before the coming of the Imam of our time, Arwahun al-Fida, that every single Shia will be tested in the severest ways. True. That society will turn against them. True. Now, in that um, scenario, we need to have as many friends as we want. The aim is not to mm. convert people. Our aim is not to convert everyone and anyone that is not our aim. Our aim is to show people the true light so that the, at the very least they're tolerant to us. True. There is a, a poem that was written by a, um, 
a person that lived during the uh, Nazi campaign. I think it was a Catholic poet who wrote it, and it goes along the lines of, you know, they came for the disabled people and I stayed quiet and they came for the Jews and I stayed quiet they came for the gypsies I stayed quiet they came for the Marxists the socialists and I stayed quiet they came for me and there was no one to stand up for me uh -huh. so this is our, the aim is at the very least to make society tolerant for them to understand no we are not a, a religion or a madhab of hatred but we're a religion and madhab of love which takes Mission. everyone in Maybe. Which takes in a Persian and makes him minna ahl al bayt. You know, this is that household. Mm. This is that household that Karimun min awlad al kiram. We recite in the Jummah mm. a ziyara of the Imam of our time. Mm. That this is the generous, this is that merciful uh, uh, family that takes everyone under their wing, regardless of whether they were the reason that they were stopped in Karbala mm -hmm. or you know whether they were the individual that had made the intention to kill them or had in fact killed their brother mm -hmm. we find narrations post karbala mm -hmm. that someone comes to imam sajjad for help imam sajjad helps him mm -hmm. he says to the imam maybe you didn't recognize who i am and the imam says really mm. he says i'm the one that killed your brother in karbala yeah. and you're helping me imam says no mm. we recognized you mm. but whenever someone comes to our door we do not turn them away so we benefit from that yeah. with the troubles in our life with the issues in our life we go and knock at their door mm. why restrict their door only to our homes or our Husseiniyas? Mm. take their door out to the rest of mankind true. so mankind true. can benefit in Very that true. journey towards Allah thank you so much uh, brother Nabil mm -hmm. uh, viewers keep those calls coming in and uh, you've got all the numbers um, on your screens uh, keep those calls coming in and we're going to take um, a look at this short video which will shed some more light on the campaign. Let's watch the video. Oh, Imam al-Hussein didn't just give his life. Imam al-Hussein gave everything that he had, which most of us do not even think about doing, let alone acting out. A man who rose to save the dignity of human life. A man who rose to give freedom to humanity because people are enslaved to their desires, to injustice. Imam Hussein was a man who fought against tyranny, fought against oppression. You don't have to be Muslim to uh, condemn tyranny and oppression. In one of the salutations that is given to Imam al Hussein, one of the most famous ones is called the Ziyarat of Warith, and that is the uh, salutation of the inheritor. And he is known as the inheritor of Adam and Noah and Moses and Abraham and Jesus and Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon them all. Which means the reality is that when we spread the message of Imam al Hussein. we are actually spreading the message of all the prophets. They are one single body of thought and that is to establish justice on earth. So therefore, if you are Christian or you are Jew or of any faith, indeed even if you are not of faith, the fact that all of these individuals were trying to bring about a just and righteous society, that is something that everybody should be getting behind today. The Imam salam sacrificed his life so that others would be guided, so that the religion of Islam survives for generations. This time and age, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me the intellect, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me resources, God has given me so many blessings, and through the message of Imam Hussein, I have the chance to hear about a religion called Islam. I have the chance to practice this religion, because had it not been for the efforts of Imam Hussein, the evil tyrants of his time would have obliterated this faith. So the Imam salam sacrificed for me. In return, what have I done? How do I pay him back? If someone sacrifices for you, they give you, isn't it your moral obligation to pay them back? How do I give my thanks and gratitude to Imam Hussein for what he did? It's by spreading his message. So every one of us has an obligation. 
when we greet or when we read about the lives of some reformers, for example, Malcolm X. Malcolm X fought for equality uh, between white people and black people. Martin Luther King, same thing, but he was Christian. He also fought for equality of white people and black people. Uh, Gandhi fought for the for the liberation uh, of his people. Nelson Mandela fought for the liberation of his people. These people are heroes. These men are heroes because uh, what they were trying to achieve wasn't materialistic. It was something moral and ethical. The liberation of their people, the equality of their people. Uh, these are these are great principles and values. Imam Hussein Ali Salam is not far from this. In fact, he was a motivation for some of these men. He was a motivation for Gandhi. The Tenth Day Campaign relates to the Tenth of Muharram, an event in 61 after Hijrah, 1400 years ago, in which the grandson of the Holy Prophet of Islam, Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon his family, rose in order to free his entire community from oppression. And because of the sacrifice on that day and thereafter, we come together to remember this event. So the 10th day uh, programs that we commemorate is in order to let the world know of his sacrifice and how he stood for humanity and directly against oppression. The 10th day campaign uh, aims to spread the message of Imam Hussein Ali Salam here in the UK and in Manchester uh, for non-Muslims. For non-Muslims to understand who is Imam Hussein, what was his message? Why did why was he killed? Why was he killed in this way? Um, it's a message uh, to me. From what I understand, is that the Tenth Day Campaign shouldn't uh, believes in that the message of Imam Hussein should not just be restricted to us followers of Ahlul Bayt. The whole the whole world should know about what happened on Ashura, what happened on the Tenth Day of Muharram. Al Imam Al Hussein Ali Salam stood to repel injustice, to give dignity to human life. And interestingly, he had the woman accompany him, Lady Zainab Ali Salam and the other members of his family. Why did he have them join him, even though he, even though he knew that this would be a difficult journey, that a big war would be involved? Part of the reason is so for the women they can spread the message of Imam Hussein So the Imam peace be upon him wanted people after him to take his message and spread it in their societies. Because in every time and age there is injustice, there is oppression. If we take the message of Imam Hussein in every society we can deliver justice. So for me this project, the 10th day, is to simply raise awareness about why the Imam salam sacrificed himself. Welcome back viewers, um, I'm Durab Naqvi here and this program is Imam Hussain Awareness Campaign Fundraising Appeal. Uh, you guys are going to see from the people that you are going to be in the appeal in the appeal so that the Imam ka message jo hai, wo sabhi tak sake. Um, well, uh, uh, we are fortunate to have us, um, our sister join us here and let me introduce first um, Sister Mavish here and she represents the campaign in Bradford and Leeds area and then we have um, Sister Ayat here and she represents the uh, campaign in Bradford and then we have Sister Asma um, uh, who represents the, um, represents the campaign in Bradford as well. So, um, as we said earlier on, that uh, campaign is expanding and we have gone to other cities. Uh, it started in Manchester and uh, we have expanded to Bradford, Leeds, Burnley, Blackburn and Newcastle as well. And inshallah, next year's, coming years, we will expand more. Um, let me come to you, Sister Mavish. Um, how do you see the campaign and what motivated you to take part in the campaign? Um, to be honest, um we're all here to spread the message of Imam Hussain al Islam. Sure. What was that message? Um, right. That message was to raise your voice mm -hmm. and to stand up for 
justice, mm -hmm. truth, and humanity. Uh, Imam Hussein -Islam gave everything in the way of God. His life, mm -hmm. his six month old child, mm -hmm. and his whole family. Mm -hmm. And on the day of Ashura, which is the 10th of Muharram, he made a call. That was The call was, is there anybody there to support me? Mm -hmm. Now, how can we forget that call? Mm -hmm. How can we not promote that call? Mm -hmm. um, how can people not know about this call? True. Um, our aim here is to reach the whole world, mm -hmm. people from all walks of life, mm -hmm. regardless of your gender, race mm -hmm. um, or religion. Mm -hmm. There are so many lessons that can be learned from the sacrifice for every human being. True. Um, and I think we need the, the platform that we're on today, mm -hmm. we need your help. Mm -hmm. I urge you to donate as much as you can mm -hmm. or as little as you're able to. Mm -hmm. The main aim is that you support this campaign and you support Basically. spreading the message of Imam Hussein. Right. Right. Um, we want to let the world know mm -hmm. who Imam Hussein was okay. and what he stood for. Let me take a call and I'll come back to you. Sure. Let's take this call. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalam. Ji, who are you talking about? I'm a youth of Imam. We have a youth of Imam folks from Burnley. Oh, welcome. Welcome to the program, Ji. Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalam. So, what do you want to say, um, brother? Uh, we just uh, got together and uh, just, um, you know, the youth of Imam organization uh, is held by Mulana Mula Jumana Sunna Kuri and Mukul Jawad Bhai. Ji, Ji. They are the integral we part of our campaigns, both of the personalities, yes. Gee, gee, gee. Uh, we've got together and we're uh, going to sponsor a bus, hmm. bus stop. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you very much indeed. No and uh, no we hope that you will uh, keep on working on this and spread the message. Thank you very Inshallah. much. Inshallah. Okay, okay, thank you so much, brother. Uh, we've got another call, have we? No, we don't have another call. So, Sister Mavish. Um, how do you um, see in future the campaign? How was was being as as a female? Um, mm. What your part has been in the campaign as a, as a practically, and um, mm. yeah. Practically, I've because I'm from Leeds. This mm. this campaign is based in Manchester. I've been talking to uh, Imam Baragas in Leeds mm. and in Bradford. Mm -hmm. uh, I've uh, liaised with um, people at the Leeds mm -hmm. Elabed Society mm -hmm. um, and all of them have been willing to help in the campaign mm -hmm. and that's in terms of any merchandise that we want to sell in Muharram mm -hmm. uh, at the Imam Baragas mm -hmm. or at any stalls at mm -hmm. the universities. Mm -hmm. All of them have been very cooperative in, in right. helping. Right. So uh, let me take a call and mm -hmm. come back. Uh, hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Ji, who are you talking Ji, my name is Mubashir. I'm talking about Bolam. MashaAllah, Mubashir, thank you so much for calling. For my No problem. Um, you just had a call from one of my um, supporters of the Youth of Imam campaign. Okay. And uh, what I would like to do is I would like to represent my own family, myself, Mashallah. and my younger brother, Hatna. And we would like to sponsor a bus stop as well, please. MashaAllah, thank you so much indeed. Um, may I ask you to call us on uh, our donation hotline and uh, give your details there? Thank you, brother. Uh, yeah, I will certainly will do that. Thank you so much, indeed. Uh, another call, sisters. Let's take that and then I'll come to you, sister. Um, okay. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Hello. Mawla Ali Alayhi Salaam Madad. Farmayi. जी अच्छा इस सिलसिले में भी आपकी मदद करेंगे इंशाल्लाह फिलहाल हमें ये कैंपेन को रन करना है लेट मी लेट मी टॉक टू सिस्टर आयत हियर सिस्टर आयत यू बीन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ अवर कैंपेन फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग व्हाट्स योर मोटिवेशन Mm. you know fully involved within the campaign mm. um, alhamdulillah from the first year we've seen a great expansion which has been mm. like highly motivated by mm. not only the youth and the people within the team the 10th day team mm. but also the people that are out there and they see mm. our bus adverts or they see um, 
our adverts or pictures on social networking mm -hmm. and they're the ones who call and they say we want to get involved mm -hmm. we want this to happen in our city mm -hmm. what can we do wow. and um, it's great to see that because that means we're you know what we're doing is actually reaching out to someone true so um, that's the motivation behind it is the fact that what we're doing is actually helping someone and mm -hmm. getting the message out there and mm -hmm. someone is asking and mm -hmm. even if it's like someone who's not from the school mm -hmm. of Ahli Bayt, mm -hmm. um, they will be, you know, in inquired to ask more questions and true, ask more true. about Ahli Bayt and find more about Imam Hussein as well. So that's yeah. the main motivation behind it while we keep Masha. doing this. Thank you so much. And um, let me come to Sister Asma. Uh, talk to us about your motivation uh, regarding the campaign and your work regarding the campaign. Um, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, I recently joined the um, uh, the uh, the campaign, Inshallah. and um, uh, last year we have actually raised um, uh, money and uh, mm -hmm. uh, as well helped in the um, raise the awareness mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. the campaign mm -hmm. um, within within Iraq and and the Arab community. Mashallah. And that's our aim is mm -hmm. to actually attract more youth and attract mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. um, uh, more than the the Asian mm -hmm. community and go over to to the Arab community sure. and because it's a it's a message like the sister said, mm -hmm. um, we are here to answer the call of Imam Hussein. Hal min nasrin yansuruna, hal min muinin yurinuna. If we don't answer that call, mm -hmm. then um, we cannot be prepared for. The, the Imam's re reappearance, uh, True. Imam Hussein, uh, Imam Hussein uh, message, Bishop. is actually a continuous message that will be carried by um, uh, Imam Al Mahdi, Ajalallah Taala Farajahu Sharif. So, therefore, we we all have to be we ha we all have to work together into uh, I in order to reform, in order mm -hmm. to rec to correct. Mm -hmm. Imam Hussein's message was to mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. a strong message mm -hmm. he actually directed to people to tell them that mm -hmm. if we want to actually mm -hmm. reform if we mm -hmm. want to correct then you need to mm -hmm. work hard mm -hmm. and this message has to carry on to, to our youth today and um, mm -hmm. Ayat is my daughter oh so right. um, okay. I'm, I'm actually proud that and I want to, to direct that message to all people and all right. parents that mm -hmm. they need to actually push their children mm -hmm. um, to help in those campaigns. Mm -hmm. They have to take part in them because being uh, um, waiting for the awaited right. uh, without yeah. working is not, it's not enough. Right. What we need is work really hard and this is, this is the least we can do. This is amazing. I didn't know that it's, uh, Sister Ayad is your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> this is just amazing. I mean, yeah. this can be a, a real big uh, role model for all the parents wa watching this program out there. That look, we have Sister Ayad here and then Sister, sorry, Sister Asma and Sister Ayad here yeah. and their mother and daughter. And they are an um, uh, integral part of the campaign so far. and. Uh, they work hard and not only physically but the 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 thought process goes through uh, is just so important um, um, what can I say I mean it's, it's amazing I, it's, uh, I mean from here it's um, I, I noticed that's not much of the uh, uh, Arab community actually taking part in that right it is very important that we mm. get Mm -hmm. most of the Arab um, uh, community to, mm -hmm. to take part in that. I, I am actually, uh, I was mm -hmm. born and bred in Iraq. Mashallah. And Mashallah. Um, when I Near went... Karbala, may I ask? Yes, it's Genobia, yeah, yeah from the south. Um, when I went mm -hmm. last year <coughs> and I told relatives and close ones uh, mm -hmm. about the campaign and they mm -hmm. were really amazed well because then. what we need is, is to take that mm -hmm. message beyond Karbala and Najaf and, and in Iraq. Mm -hmm. and go beyond that mm -hmm. and and spread mm -hmm. the message mm -hmm. to the world would you because like Imam to say would yeah. you like to say something in arabic yeah. to your arabic yeah. community um ahab an wajh risala ila al jahariya al arabiya bi ajma'iha al ahali wa kull al alam li al musharaka al fi'liya fi da'm abna'ahum li al musharaka fi hadhi al naw' min al hamlat lan hadhi al hamlat juddan muhimma لتوعية العالم بأجمعه عن الإمام المهدي أجل الله تعالى فرجه لأنه مسج الإمام المهدي هي النتيجة التي 
النتيجة اللي اللي آه التي ستكون بعد مسج أو رسالة الإمام الحسين سلام الله عليه آه أحب أن أوجه آه طلبي لكل الأهالي أنه يشجعون أبنائهم لأنه يشاركون في هذه الحملات أو يدعموهم للمشاركة فيها ويعطون كل ما في طاقتهم ليس ماديا فقط لكن معنويا أيضا لأنه حتى نكون متحضرين أو متهيئين لظهور الإمام لازم يكون العمل الدؤوب لنشر رسالة الإمام الحسين بصورة عالمية لأن بالأخير الإمام الحسين ليس ملكا أو حكا على شيعة أهل البيت ولكن الإمام الحسين شخصية عالمية وبالتالي الإمام المهدي سيكون الشخصية العالمية التي ستنشر العدل الإلهي في آخر الزمان إن شاء الله. ما شاء الله. For our benefit and for the non-Arabic speaking um, audience benefit, could you summarize that? <laughs> I, I urge the Arab community mm. to actually mm. push the uh, children, youth, mm. to uh, take part in the uh, in the campaign because Imam Hussein mm. uh, is not actually uh, uh, belong to the Shia only. Imam Hussein True. is is a renowned mm. world uh, uh, figure, mm. and uh, his message will carry on. Uh, mm to Imam Mahdi and mm. Imam Mahdi will spread justice to mm -hmm. the world not to the Shia in particular mm -hmm. or, or Ja'fari in particular or Muslims in particular right. Imam Mahdi belongs to the world he is the savior and True. he is the one who will be spread mm -hmm. he will spread the mm -hmm. the uh, uh, the justice at the end of our time fantastic as, as I was uh, talking with uh, brother Nabil earlier uh, earlier in the program uh, this famous Urdu verse Mm -hmm. uh, which I will translate in f uh, for you for uh, in English that um, it says that um, let the humans awake yeah. and every nation will say ours is all yeah so we're waiting for that moment and we are we are doing our bit right sister Ayad, um, let me ask you oh before let me mention this that the original time uh, to finish this program was six o'clock but uh, uh, with the Hidayat TVs um, um, they're very kind and uh, they have expanded the time to seven o'clock for which we are very thankful to them and um, uh, so we'll be uh, uh, live uh, on and this program will be live till seven o'clock and please uh, keep those calls coming in you've got the donation hotlines uh, ring on those uh, hotlines and donate you can donate a hundred pound for mm. a flag and you can donate 110 pounds for a bus advertisement. This is for Imam Hussain. This is to spread the the um, uh, the message of Imam Hussain. Sister Ayat, I was coming to you regarding the the merchandise. Um, why I mentioned merchandise? Because this 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 campaign needs 30,000 pounds this year, and we need to fundraise, and that's why we are sitting here today. Um, now fundraising. Brother Faz mentioned a few channels, and uh, I think you're uh, the expert on the merchandise section here. So please shed some light on the merchandise, how we are uh, raising uh, yeah. funds via merchandise. Um, firstly, I wouldn't say I was the expert, but <laughs> I have been involved <laughs> in the meetings and uh, getting the design for the merchandise mm -hmm. um, ready. Um, in, in terms of last year, the mm -hmm. merchandise, or bringing merchandise out, was a very spontaneous decision made by, right. uh, I think it was just two members of the team actually, it was very spontaneous and we received a like mass amount of attention for it so it, it was something that was fantastic and it got us a lot of funds and it also got the name of the 10th day out as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and also it, it kind of created like um, a unity because loads of people were wearing the, the merchandise and it was yeah. something that it, nice like for us to give back to them to say you know thank you for mm -hmm. supporting the campaign. True. Um, for this year we have had numerous meetings in terms of um, what merchandise we wanted to sell, mm. what m what designs we wanted to put on. It's, it's you know, um, it's more difficult than it is easy okay. because there are certain things that you actually can't put on the merchandise. So, for example, yeah. uh, Arabic names of the Hussein or True. something like, just to make sure mm. that when people are wearing it, they're... Yeah, yeah, yeah. basically. Yeah. So, um, countless meetings have been had and we decided to create uh, phone covers this year um, the hoodies, like you see, Brother Tarak yep. is wearing. Um, we're going to show that on the screen as well as uh, I've been told. Yeah. In the these are the hoodies this year, and the 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 text it reads um, is uh, "My heart beats Hussein, 
-hmm. And uh, we've got the two types of sister ayat. Uh, we've got two types of hadith. We've got, because um, from last year, um, we were told that the sister would, would have preferred a zip-up hoodie. So we have actually gone for zip-up hoodies and just regular slip-on hoodies as well. Like the one I'm like wearing, one it says, yeah. my heart beats, can the camera show? My heart beats Hussein. And it's got a design at the I back as well. Uh, do I need to stand up? Just okay. Yeah. I'll stand up. So, so yeah, if you can see this, this is says my heart so beats the same. Well, and um, there is some some uh, let Brother Musaddiq deal with that. Okay. And I'm going to turn around to show the design at the back as well. Right. Can you switch yeah. to this camera, please? There you are. It says, my heart beats Hussein. Shall I turn around? Yeah. yeah, okay. I will turn around and it says... The Shall I start yeah. modeling as well? <laughs> <laughs> Making those poses, silly poses? <laughs> right. That was that. This is just one part of it. Uh, uh, let me mention that last year we sold about 1,000 hoodies just mm -hmm. under 1000 hoodies which helped uh, which helped us immensely uh, regarding the uh, um, fundraising because all of the money uh, which we raised from selling these hoodies were put into the campaign and um, um, basically we sold a hoodie we had online orders you can of course the viewers um, watching across the globe any country just go on to the website and Mohibban almahadi.org website and the tenthday.com um, uh, tenthday.com website you can order online last year we we posted hoodies to Saudi Arabia which was the mm. biggest yeah. uh, surprise mm. USA America France Germany Norway South Africa Australia even Kenya went to India a couple of them went to so, uh, and a few were uh, basically hand taken, personally taken to Pakistan as well. Yeah. Um, and uh, now, now uh, yeah, that was the only merchandise last year. Yeah. Uh, we had a few t-shirts as well and, and lady scarves yeah, printed yeah. I love Hussain or I heart Hussain. Yeah. But this year we have expanded. This year we have expanded to um, phone covers as well. So we have, right. I believe it's about... It's on the screen now, six, yeah? Six, yeah. Three main designs. Yes. Six designs. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So they're coming on the screen now. Six different designs that were designed by um, members of the okay. Tenth Day team. Yeah. Uh, I've been told there are three main designs now. Three yeah. main designs. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They're <laughs> not spoiled for the choice this time. <laughs> three main designs. Yeah. Um, and we've got them for a variety of phones. So mm. um, iPhone, Samsung, and you know any other mm. phone that is out there. Yeah. Um, right. So we were basically uh, th these phone covers. Uh, are the um, new merchandise that um, we are doing this year? The, you can you can buy them online as well. Order them online or contact um, us in any way or contact on these numbers. We we can take orders. You can buy in bulk if you want to sell yourselves uh, to raise the awareness and help us um, raise the funds. Mm -hmm. Buy um, in bulk and uh, sell at your Hosseinias, your Mambagas, or wherever you feel right. Um, also, then we have lady scarves this year again. Lady scarves and also um, the wristbands that say mm -hmm. the Tenth Day campaign okay. uh, to represent the campaign. So wristbands, scarves. Do you still have the t-shirts as well? Oh, t-shirts as, well. as well. Polo With shirts the new or t-shirts. Uh, Brother Faz, do we have polo shirts this year? Uh, we're working on it. We're working on <laughs> it. Yes, we're working yeah. on it. But um, there is much more variety this year, alhamdulillah. Yeah. So what else do we have in merchandise? Wristbands? Wristbands, Wristbands as well, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Which will say? I believe they just say the 10th day campaign. 10th day campaign. Yeah. Um, Bye. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my, my heart beats are saying, I think. It's my heart beats are saying. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, another another uh, aspect of the merchandise is to, it's just another way to uh, raise the funds. Basically, last year we prepared this theme track, theme song, or mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it. Uh, Will be on to me, Hussain, and it was translated into four different languages. Mm -hmm. English was the main chorus, then it was in uh, Fars Arabic, and mm -hmm. then Farsi, and then we had the uh, Ur Urdu verses as well. So it was 
received very well all over the globe. So this year we decided to create a new theme track and put it on iTunes and Google Play. And we will ask the, the, the people to download it. Even though you'll be able to download it from YouTube, but that'll be free. But if you download it from uh, iTunes and Google Play, you'll pay us one pound, and that one pound will help us generate mm -hmm. the funds. Yeah. So it's only one pound, so why not pay it? Not to mention it's also illegal to download it. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. not to mention that, that it's that illegal <laughs> <laughs> from the any other channel yeah. without the copyright, because we don't give the copyright. <laughs> right, no, I'm joking. It's, it's, for you, it's for you to basically listen to it, download it, and listen to it on your phones or any gadgets you have. Mm -hmm. But if you pay a pound for it, it will help the campaign um, in terms of money. Now, we aim to uh, have at least 10,000 downloads. So if we have 10,000 downloads across the globe, which I think is nothing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. nothing. So that, that solves uh, one third of the, of the fundraising. Yeah. So if, if you want to order any of these merchant uh, merchandise now, please call on the studio number and talk to us or these ho donation hotlines. Um, we can book your merchandise now, uh, individual uh, merchandising or um, bulk merchandising, any, just give us a call. Right, so let me come to Sister Mavish. So um, how do you see the campaign go next year? Where, where do you want it next year? Uh, hopefully, I, we don't have many volunteers in Leeds. Right. So being on this platform, mm. I'd like to urge anybody in Leeds or Bradford um, mm -hmm. to join me right and hopefully we can have a, a larger mm -hmm. team in Leeds next year right um, to spread this message of Imam Hussain and his sacrifice true true very good so this is a very important message because we need um, a lot of volunteers mm -hmm. a lot of volunteers um, I'm sure brother Faz is going to join us later uh, today and he's going to shed some light on international um, representative of the campaigns um, mm -hmm. So, uh, but it is very important that we have legs on the ground, yeah. um, mm -hmm. actually working hands mm -hmm. and thinking brains on the ground so that they can help us anywhere in the world, uh, to be honest. Yeah. Um, so, whoever listening in Leeds and Bradford, please call and contact Sister Mavish yes, and assist her to run this campaign in that area. Um, Sister Asma, yeah. what else would you like to say? Um, I would like to um, go globally, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, right. Faye's always say that, so mm. we, yeah. we can do it. Um, the community is huge and uh, the, the, the share community in, uh, mm. uh, in Great Britain is huge. So um, we should That's be right. able to, to spread the message wider and, and go beyond the UK to, mm. to the world. I know that Imam Hussein is recognized, but we lo we're looking at mm. preparing ourselves for, for, the, um, for the awaited. Um, right. it, it's not just to stop here and, and spread the message uh, during Muharram and, and, and that's it. It's, um, it's actually to carry on mm. um, the, the teachings of Imam Hussein mm. and to teach ourselves. It starts with ourselves first mm. and then spread the message to the world. Right. Yes, we want to go globally uh, because mm. at the end of the day we're preparing or paving the way mm. to um, uh, the uh, Imam Al Mahdi Ajal Allah Ta'ala for Ajah Hussein. MashaAllah. What I would like to say is that this campaign has uh, three different dimensions. Now, um, the, the bus adverts, the bus stops, the telephone booths, um, they are specifically the target audience for uh, that advertisement are the non-Muslims, specifically the non-Muslims. As uh, the bus uh, banners last year said, the day Hussein stood for your rights. So um, that intrigued many people that Hussein, who's this Hussein and um, mm. why did he and yeah. what is this day, the day of Ashura? Yeah. So um, those buses had, uh, ran for a month during the month of Muharram last year and we had 1.5 million hits on our uh, website. So that was very encouraging and we are um, expecting it to double this year. Um, and it the had made a difference and educated non-Muslims True, about especially the, the current Shia environment we and have. Uh, yeah. I, I spoke to too many people actually who are not Muslims mm. and they started calling us the, um, the people of the slaughtered, oh, um, right. which was, which was I I quite um, 
I don't know when I, when I heard about mm. it. It was uh, it was really nice to hear that mm. they can recognize mm. um, uh, us the as sects, oppressed. Us, mm. uh, yes, mm. as oppressed, and mm. then mm. Um, uh, to be oppressed is 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 being mm. a, a strong person. You know, mm. you are strong because you mm. are mm. oppressed, and um, and that Islam did mm. not spread mm. by the sword as mm. as it is actually known by perceived by, uh, perceived mm. by mm. others. Mm. True, um, true. It, it is a quite a, a message actually that changed people's mm. uh, uh, perception of, of, of Shia in particular. Uh, that Islam. title, People of Slaughtered, how yes, would you translate that in Arabic? Ahl uh, al-Dhabih. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Right, so I was, I was talking about the, the other aspect, the second aspect of the campaign. Now, the second target audience are the non-Muslims. Uh, Non-Muslims were the first or target audience. The yeah. second one, sorry, apologies. The non-Shia Muslims. Yeah. Yeah. Non-Shia Muslims. So what we are doing for non-Shia Muslims are basically putting up the flags on lampposts. Now, you see in my background, you see these four different designs, five different designs. Uh, these are th actually the, the lamppost flags. Um, what they do is they basically intrigue the non-Shia Muslims and they um, basically get um, curious about, okay, what is this going on? And they check out our website and they get awareness. As Brother Nabil said before, Brother Faz said before, that our aim is not to convert people. Our aim just to... Just to educate. Educate. And uh, yes, and the true, yeah. and the and the third audience obviously are us Shias. So what we are doing for us Shias is the merchandise, obviously, that um, non-Muslims pr is probably not going to buy. Who do it says um, my heart beats so sad. at the moment. Maybe we will do in, in future. In the winter. In the winter, maybe yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, but this is the, the this is the part of campaign where the Shias are targeted. And the theme track, mm -hmm. and the chorus of the theme track this year is La Baika Ya Hussain. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, theme track, um, composed and uh, read by his brother Sirat Abbas. And along with him is brother Mirza Bahraini in Arabic, mm -hmm. and brother Adil in Arabic. They both are doing the Arabic. And then uh, Hamid Hashmati and Ali Majidi in Farsi. And Sirat Abbas will do the Ar Urdu version as well. So uh, we're going to take a little break here and we will come back after this break. 